7.44 p.m. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates for the result of today's task. Today, housemates had to confess their sins to Big Brother. Big Brother was satisfied with all housemates' confessions. Yay! Housemates have therefore won the ingredients to a roast dinner with all the trimmings and some lovely puddings to go with it. Yay! Yay! Puddings! However, as housemates have confessed so many sins to Big Brother, show. Big Brother thinks that it would be appropriate for housemates to absolve these sins. What does that mean? To break bread with his fellow housemates oh. and to help two of his housemates in their self-improvement, Luke A must teach and mentor Ashley and Sarah in cooking tonight's slap-up roast dinner for them. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. It's easy. Roast's easy. Never cooked a roast in my life. To demonstrate that the soul is more important than the body, Luke S must forego his vanity and must not go topless until further notice. Yes! <laughs> to ensure he does not give in to the temptation to strip off, he must wear all of his clothes at once. <laughs> every single piece of clothing. Oh You've got to wear everything. They were fit. <laughs> They're all the time. <laughs> all, all his clothes. All of his clothes. All of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> all of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> all of his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> all of his clothes. <laughs> To help improve the emotional well-being of the house, Cigarettes, please. Adam Cigarettes. is the feel-good machine. He must give a hug of at least 30 seconds to every housemate <laughs> and give each of them a genuine, heartfelt compliment. No. This must be completed before the meal is cooked. <laughs> I want a dick! All other housemates will be given the opportunity to absolve their sins later this evening. OK, what you need to do is peel that into a bowl so you're keeping everything tidy. Right, so what are we doing? The cauliflower. Yeah. Have you done cauliflower take... before? Cauliflower's cut. That's this. broccoli for a start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get roasted. It's gonna be so hot. You want it down there? Oh. You have a beautiful Dude. smile. Oh, thank you, Roger. You are gorgeous and heartfelt. Oh. <laughs> you bring love, peace, horniness, oh. and well-groomed, <laughs> and well-educated, and excitement. Oh, that's lovely. Well-meaning and good-hearted person. Yes. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> you are a very full of life and laughter character. Yes. You are loyal and thoughtful. That was a nice hug. Thanks. You're so well attractive. Oh you keep your body fit. And you're funny at times with the winks. You are. You're mendable. Right. Inspirational. Just great great man. Thank, Thank you. You're my best friend. Nine thirty two PM. Luke A is revealing some of his trade secrets. Uh, if you put your hand in here, yeah. your left hand in there, that's it. If you hold that there mm -hmm. and then just turn them over gently, then it needs to be gently turned over. That's it. Lovely. And then what we'll do later is just finish them off on a grill so they're nice go brown up. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, just be careful with that. This Put that in a bowl now, that's fine. Just like a normal cereal bowl. Yeah? Yeah. Scott is telling Big Brother all about his hug from Adam. Oh, my God. I've never felt like someone fancied me more. Oh, my. I felt, I forgot, the biggest admirer in the world. It was... It was like I had some sensual beast ploughing the face into my shoulder. Oh, it was a very intense experience. And then the compliments came flowing and they were lovely. Just marvellous, really. 
looking into my eyes like he found the love of his life. So I think he did a marvellous job there. He really did. Don't know whether he meant it. I hope he did. I think he did. Big Brother's glad you enjoyed it. Oh, yes. Well, you know, you should be having one right now. I mean, I'm sure you'd love it. I mean, I'm not exactly... It's not, it's not quite my type, but, you know, it's nice to have someone who fancies you. What you need to do first... Oh, God. Is it OK? Is take the knife down the drumstick. Like that, yeah? So it's just coming out. OK. OK. Oh, God, you're cutting off his leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what you need to do... See the socket here? Oh, God, I don't know if I can do it. OK, all right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. No, no, right. Come on, just give it a go. Ugh, just give okay, it a go. Okay. See, so to take the knife down here okay. mm. and then just wait until it pulls out the socket. <laughs> you can do it, Ashley. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I can touch it, okay. Wait, am I doing it right? <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's perfect, it's perfect. Peel it back a bit. Ah, the bone! It's fine. You can. Okay. Just, just go like that and then that's the. Ah! That's fine, I'll do the rest, that's cool. Okay. okay. Oh. Well done, well done. Well okay. Done. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Paying for watching Ashley. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh. Uh. 9.57 p.m. After more than two hours of preparation, the housemates are enjoying their well-earned roast. That cabbage is amazing. Mm? <laughs> what? The cabbage is amazing. No, what, that red stuff? Yeah. When I get out of here, I might take some elocutional letters. Oh, yeah. You said what? Elocutional letters? <laughs> no, less, is it less elocutional? Elocution. Mm. Yeah, elocution letters, mm. uh, le lessons. Oh, my God. And, um, and cooking lessons. Hmm. What's elocutional or whatever? Elocutional lessons. So you, you go from speaking like Ashley to speaking like Scott. <laughs> oh. oh, that might be a transformation. <laughs> How many items of clothing you got on, do you reckon? Um, one, two, two trousers, three shorts, about five jumpers, uh, and then one. So the Eight t-shirts, three jumpers, three, two hats. And a pair of socks. Did you say in the confession box that you... No, this is around. absolutely nothing. No, no, this is absolutely nothing. So they just think it's a sin? <laughs> For the last couple of days, I've wanted to apologise to Luke Hay and to Adam about what I knew and everything like that, but I didn't know how to do it. So I wanted Big Brothers to do a way of, like, oh. <laughs> doing it. I, I don't know how they're going to react, so I wanted them to do a way, as in, I, like, they could, that cool. I could apologise. So, but I do apologise. It's accepted, and I'm sorry that I flow for handle. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I could have dealt with it better. At oh, no. the time, it was like... Oh, no, no, I, I apologise, because obviously I... You know, I should have known, you know, it was... I didn't... I thought it was going to be, a, like, a laugh more than, like, an upsetting thing, but it didn't. It turned upset, and I don't want... I don't want to ever upset anybody in this house, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just... Mm. That's just the way that it is. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. No, I'm sorry. Take thank balls. You. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I hope they're everything wrong. Forgive and forget on this lovely little vase. Mm -hmm. 10.22 p.m. It's time for the rest of the housemates to be absolved of their sins. Earlier, housemates confessed their sins to Big Brother. Big Brother would now like to give the remaining housemates the opportunity to absolve their sins. <laughs> Clean up. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. To ensure that he has time to reflect on his sins and to provide a symbol of penitence to all housemates, Scott must go to the naughty step. <laughs> this is the sixth step on the stairs from the floor in the living area. He must remain there until further notice. What's the chair? Oh my God. <laughs> what? Come on, better bring me wine. That's all I can say. We're drinking. Oh, oh no, I Four, five. Sit on that What's it look like, oh, Scott? This is really privileged. <laughs> you dick. Scott, does it look different up there? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very naughty morning. <laughs> you must have sinned really naughty, I know. 
To aid holistic well-being, Connor must give a massage to any housemates that he feels he has acted ill against. Also, any housemate who feels he has ever wronged them is free to request a massage. No one's getting their feet foot massage. It's not happening. Oh, <laughs> no, I've been having a shoulder problem. Yeah, you did. Might as well do the full back. Yeah. In order to focus on improving her own morals and those of her fellow housemates, <laughs> Dina must give a lesson in morality and self-improvement. She'll receive a whiteboard and pen oh, okay. to prepare her speech and we'll have 30 minutes to prepare and perform it. <laughs> she has no idea what that means. Oh, Just no idea what that means. Fucking massage. <laughs> One thing Katie says I'm not allowed to do. <laughs> you have no idea what they're doing. To absolve <laughs> Becky's sins and to banish <laughs> misery from the house, <laughs> Becky must bring smiles to all housemates' faces <gasps> by painting happy smiles on their faces. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. I've never done any wrongdoing to any. Have I done wrongdoing to anybody in here? Yeah, you've done it to me, so I'm gonna get them out in a you've minute. You've done it to Dana. You made me do more push-ups than I did. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Fuck's sake! Oh! Don't well. go that high. You don't need to go that high. Don't, <laughs> go, to my, don't go to my butt cheeks. <laughs> don't do it. Here we go. No! <laughs> I'll do your hamstrings first. Yeah. I'll do your hamstrings first. Mm. You're so rough! I'll do your hamstrings yeah, first. Yeah, it's fucking good. You like it? You like it? With the elbow. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Ashley's grooving in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Get it. His hamstrings are done anyway. Oh, I'm gonna, oh my god. Here we go. Ooh, they're nice and tight. Oh. Okay, yes. oh, I'm so excited. Oh. oh my god, it's not supposed to be sexual. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Eleven or one p.m. Scott has been on the naughty step for the past 42 minutes. Please, big brother, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Housemates have been eagerly anticipating Dina's views on morality. Their wait is over. Oh my God, I'm nervous. This is big brother. Dina should now deliver her lesson in morality and self-improvement to the know, housemates. I don't know what morality means. No, it was just that. <clears throat> open. Like OK. <clears throat> in this day and age, it is very easy to become selfish and materialistic, <laughs> as a lot of people are. But I believe it is very important to maintain morals such as being loyal, kind, trustworthy and thoughtful to other people's feelings, as this shows strength of character. Having good morals and sticking to them is something to be very proud of. I believe we should always reevaluate ourselves, our actions and how we treat others and look at our behaviour in an unbiased way and think if there is any way you can self-improve to become a better person. Hmm. No one is ever perfect so I believe trying to improve yourself is very important to be the best possible person you can be. I believe you should always treat others the way you would wish to be treated and never judge people if they are different but try to embrace the differences, learn from them and use what you learn to improve yourself. That was very that good. That was good. Good job. Thank you. Good job. That was very good. Yeah. Oh, thank wow. you. Really. Encore. <laughs>